coffee time. So, I'm sitting in my creek and who should drive past? This bloody African. <laughs> and he's still white. <laughs> and he's still arrogant. And he brought coffee. And he brought coffee. <laughs> and sugar. And water. He nearly didn't buy me. He's been driving around like a blue ass fly. And people are like, yeah, bike came in and a bike rode out. And he's like, fuck, yeah. I can't buy She's gone somewhere else. <laughs> So he drives past and sees him in a little creek riverbed, like a little troll under the bridge. <laughs> Rawr! She makes good coffee too. I do make good coffee. <laughs> Heaven! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Good for you, Beth! So you're definitely going to Cal, eh? Yep. Yay! <laughs> you're on form, by the way. <laughs> oh, yes. I've got my that's it. I oh, see that's what it is. It's flopped. Now you've got to take some back and stick it in a pot next to your kitchen sink. It'll grow. It's Honestly, flopped. they grow like wildfire. I've, I've been growing them for five years. So what I do is I break them up yeah. and I flatten them out and put them in a book and dry them. Okay. And then I um, put them in the little um, frames that you buy at Kmart, the little oh, box yeah. frames. And I write carp diem and I give them to the people that I love. Ah. Carp diem, yeah. seize the day. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> off to Karatha to the festival. There you go. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. So I sent everyone the location link, my loved ones saying where I was. And uh, yeah, he used it to find me. How's that? All right, back to my waterfront. Watch the world wake up. So Estelle, I do, it's been 35 years, darling. <laughs> Estelle, anyone who calls me Rosie is from my old days. <laughs> Estelle and P. Richards. So P. Used, used to have a super sedan as well and, and your son still races Speedway and your grandson does Speedway. Yep. Uh, you wish they just took up chess or something like yeah. that, hey? <laughs> yeah, tennis, yeah, yeah. Tennis shoes are cheap. <laughs> That's it. We could go as a chaperone, stay in five star hotels, <laughs> instead of in dusty, bloody car parks, changing tyres and cooking for the crew. <laughs> oh, it was awesome meeting you guys. Oh, I was just, you know, part of my past. That's just. It's catching up. Yeah, catching up. That's it. So, we were sitting here all afternoon shooting the breeze and talking about the old days and the new days. And we kind of like the old the days. days. Back, in, back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, they're taken up again tomorrow. And so too am I. I'm going to stay one more night. It's a bit of heaven out here. All right, the adventure continues. Carry on. See you, folks. Love you guys. <laughs> oh, this is heaven. This is heaven. How beautiful. Definitely spending another night out here. <laughs> Beautiful afternoon with my buddies, Estelle and Pete, and uh, she has some ziggies. 
Thank you, darling. <laughs> so, another fire. Make another bed. Enjoy the peace. Got the birds out here, and the peace today was just bloody beautiful. Sitting in the sunshine, heaven. I'm in my happy place. I'm in my happy place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that should keep the mozzies at bay. All right, coffee and bed making. Back to the editor's chair. to leave my beautiful home, sweet home. Pack up and hit the frog and toad again. Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, I just want to keep going. I could really easily just zigzag all the way down Chichester Ranges to Mill Stream, but yeah, back to Port Hedland. Go get this tire. And then uh, across to Marble Bar for more adventure. Let's go, Artemis. Let's go, darling girl. five minutes you know rub any excess dirt off and then bang your lube on and not 10 minutes for it to dry yeah do it look after my chain it looks after me you know i'm a good human i try to be nice to everyone and you know i say it with tongue in cheek that i don't like humans and i dislike humans there's only some humans i dislike and i won't use the word hate because it's a strong word in this day and age but yeah it's just certain humans i dislike I just got passed by one of them. Let me explain to you why. <laughs> that human sucks. <laughs> so, side of the road and, you know, on the black top. So this caravan and four-wheel drive pulling it comes flying around the corner, obviously in a rush for his cafe latte at Roeburn. And no sign of slowing down whatsoever. Crystal clear can see that I'm here on the side of the road. Wind's going this way flying around the corner straight off the dirt caravan and car full of dust roaring past me and showers me in a fucking cloud of dust stuck to my face in my hair like seriously <laughs> i should have picked up a rock and thrown it through his back window <laughs> and then that would make me an asshole like him uh, I'm just caked in dust now to baby wipe my face. This is horrible. Fucking old people. You know, think about other people, not just yourself. Common sense. There's, there's kind of like a road camper etiquette. Go read up on it. Learn how to use it. Be a nice guy, not an freaking a hole. <laughs> towards Port Helen.
great little shady spot to do it. Carry on. Look, I could just do this forever. <laughs> I never got to experience this legendary place. So apparently it used to be freaking awesome. And now it's a ghost town. I'll never forget the disappointment. Mark and I gave up camping out near bloody Pyramid Hill, a place I've just explored, which would have been freaking awesome. That would have been awesome staying out there. And we gunned it here. We was hanging out for a cold beer. I was hanging out for a steak burger and we arrived to this <laughs> up close. Oh, what a shame. I'll never forget. And then we rode another bloody half an hour out of town and ended up camping out and pump up nowhere. <laughs> what a shame. Oh well. and do this again, you know, because there's nothing between uh, Roeburn and Port Hedland. This is like the only place. Yeah, they could do a roaring trade here with somebody over this stuff. Ah. 
From where? Oh, that's a great spot. I ride my motorbike all through there. Now look at this place. It doesn't cost you anything to camp here. There's water. Kids are having a ball down there fishing, as they should do. Yep, I know I can't eat the fish because there's worms in it. Apparently there's a wild bulldog over there. There's a dead pelican down here and another one over the other side that the dingo's got, apparently. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, watch out for the ants. Ah, <laughs> oh, you gotta love boys out in the wild, as they should be. All right, carry on, people. Oh, should have actually camped here the night and gone down fishing with the young boys. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. Nice and cool. But carry on. Little pit stop. Got a reasonably cat there. I just need a curb. <laughs> Mate, I inhaled that IQ burrito. <laughs> Woo, I've got a good appetite when I've got one. <laughs> Alright, back in Port Headland. Miss my buddy Glenn Duffy just by a smidge. And uh, back to Captain's house. Captain and Beth. Oh my god, food coma setting in now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tyre. I just want my tyre. Oh, I could have done. Easy. Could have kept going. I could have gone back up that road. The, um, uh, what do you call it? Mill Stream, Roeburn, Wintnoom Road. Could have kept going back up path, past Python Pool. That look up out the top there is beautiful. But yeah, I could have gone and like did a whole big loop around. Would have loved it. Would have loved it. I got back with like quarter of a litre tank in my fuel. <laughs> of fuel. Man, I'm knackered. I just quickly smashed down a Zambrero as I just about inhaled it. When a bike comes the other way and somebody doesn't wave, Mark started off, what a miserable bastard. But when somebody waves, it's like, that's a happy bastard. So you're either a miserable bastard or a happy bastard. Which one are you? 
a happy bastard. Oh, stop it! <laughs>